we need to talk. I love you, but sometimes you spout such utter nonsense and it drives me crazy. <laughs> Your most recent offense was circulating this image with this caption. This is a grave from the Victorian age when a fear of zombies and vampires was prevalent. The cage was intended to trap the undead just in case the corpse reanimated. No, 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 no. Just stop. This has nothing to do with vampires, zombies, or anything supernatural. This is a mort safe. It was created in the 19th century to prevent body snatchers from stealing corpses and selling their bodies to anatomists for dissection. During the 17th century, British medical students were not required to study anatomy or physiology through clinical dissection. The act of cutting open dead bodies was generally believed to be pointless when becoming a doctor. This is not to say, however, that medical students knew nothing of anatomy. Many attended public dissections conducted by the Barber Surgeons Company on executed criminals. There they observed and watched, but did not participate. This changed at the end of the 18th century with the proliferation of private anatomy schools, which gave students an opportunity to learn anatomy through dissection. But to do this, bodies were needed. Lots of bodies. More than the gallows could produce. So the anatomists turned to the body snatchers to procure them. From what little records exist, we know that body snatchers required some level of moonlight in order to conduct their work, and could steal as many as eight bodies in a single night. They often worked in small gangs and fought each other for a monopoly over the cadaver trade. It was at this time that graveyards underwent dramatic makeovers as the public's fear over body snatching escalated. Mort safes or iron grills were placed over the grave sites to prevent the resurrection men from disturbing the dead. This cage-like structure was partially buried within the grave and surrounded the entire coffin. After a suitable amount of time, once the body had decomposed and was rendered useless to the anatomist, the mort safe was then removed. Mort safes might vary in design, though the basic premise remained the same. Some consisted of heavy iron rods and plates, which were then padlocked together for extra protection. Two sets of keys were needed to unlock these types of mort safes. One such example is at Greyfriars Kirkyard in Edinburgh, which has space for three coffins. Although you may come across these devices in graveyards today, not many extant mort safes exist. That's because they were reusable, and most graveyards only invested in one or two, and then rented them out to families as needed. A lot of them were dismantled after the Anatomy Act of 1832, which made it legal for anatomists to dissect the bodies of the unclaimed poor, thus making body snatching obsolete. If you're interested in seeing a mort safe live and in person, you can click the pop-up link which will bring you to an interactive map showing you where existing mort safes are located in the UK. So there you have it, Internet. These cages have nothing to do with vampires. I mean, vampires. How silly is that?